Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. This is Zach over at NV Woodworks. So today we're turning up an ornament for the Turner's Warehouse St. Jude uh, ornament challenge. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not actually going to enter this, but you can. Uh, all you got to do is make an ornament and then send it to Turner's Warehouse and it gets auctioned off proceeds benefiting the St. Jude Children's Hospital. So uh, pretty awesome. But the cool thing for everybody else that's entering uh, there's a judging, it's like a judged contest, and the winners will be receiving prizes. They'll, they'll win prizes, pr some pretty good ones too. So all the information is down in the show notes. Follow the link over to the Turner's Warehouse Facebook page. It, it outlines all the, there's a few different categories. Um, the one big thing is you need to make sure that Turner's Warehouse has your finished ornament in hand. Uh, so you'll physically be actually shipping it to Turner's Warehouse. Um, but they got to have those by November 9th. Um, that's the big date. Uh, and so, like I said, there's a few different categories. You can enter one ornament per category uh, if you're going for prizes. But uh, for me, I'm not going to enter the, the contest. I'm an affiliate for Turner's Warehouse. I think it's best if I just kind of stay out of the contest. Uh, but I'm going to be sending some down. And even if you sent more than, you know, one per category, let's say... I know that uh, wood, just a wood ornament, that's one of the categories. Let's say you sent five wooden ornaments down. Um, you'd have to you know, let them know which one you want entered into the contest. Uh, but the rest of them are just going to be auctioned off and proceeds are going to benefit St. Jude. So um, I'm just going to send down a few and uh, hopefully they'll grab a few bucks uh, that'll go to a good cause. So uh, what I plan to do with this, I, I, I've seen uh, Sam over at Wyoming Wood Turner on his channel and a few other people have made just kind of a Christmas tree uh, like ornament type thing um, using a pine cone blank and I wanted to make one I've never done that so uh, we're gonna try and make a little bit of a tree out of this uh, it should be pretty fun and uh, like I said make sure if you want to participate it, it's open to anybody you can just like I said make an ornament send it to Turner's Warehouse they do the auctioning uh, so you don't even have to worry about all that stuff uh, but it's all going to a good cause so uh, anyway let's get on the lathe and get this thing turned up
it turned out how I had it in my head. I'm really happy with this thing. The little sparkles really make it look like Christmas lights on the tree. Uh, it's a little bit dark. Uh, you know, you need light to kind of hit on it to, to play and dance and, and make those starlight glitters kind of pop. But, and it was kind of hard to pick up on camera. In person, this thing is just awesome. It totally looks like a Christmas tree. It just needs some little ornaments in there. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this come together. Again, I, I really wanted to, to make sure that uh, I got the word out about this ornament challenge. So if you want to join in on the fun, all you got to do is make any kind of ornament you want. It's up to you. Uh, send it to Turner's Warehouse and you uh, and let them know which, which category you want to get entered into for the contest. Um, but it'll it'll go to charity. They're going to auction it off for you and, uh, you know, the money's going to St. Jude. So I hope that lots of you guys can get out there, get in your shop and make a cool ornament. I'm really happy with this. I got a couple more of these pine cone type blanks uh, that I'm going to turn up. I'm going to send a whole batch of them down to, to Turner's Warehouse. So it should be pretty fun. I had a great time turning this. Um, I'm just happy that everything kind of worked out how I had it in my head. I, I kind of like the little ridges that added a little bit of I was originally just going to go with like kind of a flat sides to this thing and thought, oh, maybe what if I add ridges? Turned out pretty good, I think. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Are you going to enter the contest? Uh, what kind of ornament do you think you'll want to make? Uh, let me know down in the comments. So if this is your first time on my channel, we do all kinds of resin casting projects, tips and tricks and experiments around here. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that subscribe button so you get notified when new videos get posted. And if you're thinking about getting into resin casting and you're not really sure where to begin, check out my ebook, The Beginner's Guide to Resin Casting. It answers all those beginner questions like, what do I need to get started? How does it all work? What resin should I use? You know, basically all of those kind of stumbling block questions that, that a lot of times hold people up from even getting started. Uh, so if you're interested in that, definitely check it out on my website. It's available over there. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching this video and happy casting.